All right, what is up guys? So I have decided to start doing sort of shorter videos, but I'm gonna try and sort of do them every day. So hopefully that will just be a bit more interesting because I know how annoying it is when you subscribe to a channel and you know, 800 of you guys or, or so have, um, I know how annoying it is to subscribe and then like they just stop posting videos. So I'm gonna try and go ahead and do like a maybe minute to three minute video every day, maybe every like two days, see how it goes. So today's question is coming from uh, buddy Josh, and this is referring, so before, I was saying how um, to lucid dream sort of in one night, say if it's, you've never done it before and you want to do it just like straight away tonight, um, one of the good things you can do is to start reading about it. So just immerse yourself in the whole subject, read as much as you can throughout the day. Uh, and then in the evening, uh, it'll be slightly more likely because it will be on your mind. You know, you'll uh, have that day residue um, as you enter the dream and it will sort of be more likely because you would have had it on your mind, you would have been thinking about it. Um, however, I also said that it's not a good idea to have uh, lights on in the evening. So when you're when you're sort of preparing to go to bed, maybe say if you normally go to sleep at about 11 or 12, um, it's probably not a good idea to have like uh, to be watching TV or be on your computer um, for about an hour or an hour and a half before you are planning to go to sleep. So the question is. Um, can I read about lucid dreaming on my phone? So he's sort of combining the two tips there. So I would say it, with with your phone, it's not so much of an issue because it's a smaller source of light and there's not as much light going into your eyes um, that's going to keep you awake and keep your um, wake up hormones active. Uh, so what I would say to do is if you absolutely have to use your phone, which is totally cool, you know, I mean, some people like reading on their phone, some people uh, like reading a book for example, or on, or on the computer, it really doesn't matter. Um, it would be better to read a book because then it's not that light. Like I said, it's not gonna be that, that sort of unnatural, artificial light going into your eyes, keeping you awake, keeping your hormones firing and keeping you from falling asleep properly. However, if you, if you have to use your phone, and that's totally fine, if you want to use your phone, then just turn the brightness down, just whack the brightness down to as low as it will go, uh, read, and that, that'll be fine. But if you can, Try and sort of read about lucid dreaming um, in the day. Uh, obviously, you can read about lucid dreaming during the day on whatever you want. Computer, you know, use your screens to your heart's content. But then maybe as you get towards the evening when you're going to be thinking about falling asleep, maybe at that time start shifting to reading a, a book or, or maybe using a Kindle or something. Um, or at the very least, just turn the brightness down on your screen, on your phone. So I hope that answers your question, John. Uh, Josh, sorry, pardon. Uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, comment. If you'd like to have a particular video or you have a question, please go ahead and leave a comment in this video now and then make sure to subscribe and you'll get access to the new videos. So, hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next one.